Yo, Steven here, your honest trading coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my exact ROI for 2023 in Forex, stocks, and in crypto. And even more importantly than that, I'm gonna be breaking down each and every step that I took to go from a struggling construction worker, roofing houses, barely able to pay his bills, to the professional trader I am today. So if you would like to see my exact results for 2023 in Forex stocks and crypto, and you'd like to know the exact steps I took to become a professional trader, stick around through the intro and disclaimer, click that like button, go ahead and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in just a second. Welcome back, and we're gonna jump right in. So we're gonna start off with Forex, because that's what I primarily trade. Then after that, we'll get into stocks and crypto, and I'll show you my results in those two markets as well. And most importantly, of course, later on, I'll give you the exact steps, the blueprint that I followed to become a professional trader. So let's take a look on the screen. As you can see, this is my MyFX book, third-party verified track record, and it is on a real Oanda account. Now these results, around a 70% gain over the past nine or so months, are all based on exactly what I teach here on YouTube, along with in the TTC Forex University. Those are the exact strategies, techniques, and skills that I use in my own personal trading. Now also, if we go ahead and go to a calculator at this 70% return over the past nine months or so, we're hitting about a 7.8% return per month. If we multiply that by 12, it means that if everything goes perfectly, I should hit around a 93% return by the end of the year. Now take that with a grain of salt because everything going perfectly almost never happens in trading. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of traders make is hoping for a consistent payment each month when markets are inconsistent. You're not gonna make exactly 10% a month every single month. If you're coming from, let's say, a nine to five job, where you're getting paid bi-weekly or you're getting paid every single week and that's what you're expecting out of trading, those expectations are going to get crushed. I have months where I make 20% and then I have months where I lose seven and then I have months that are break even. That's just the way trading goes. It's not gonna be some consistent, you get paid exactly the same every week or so. So keep that in mind as we move forward, but that's the Forex results. And let's now move on to stocks. So my stock account is just with Robinhood. Here you can see those results throughout the year of 2023. We're up about 34.95%. So we can round that up to about a 35% return so far in stocks in 2023. Again, utilizing the exact same systems, strategies, techniques, and skills that I teach here on the channel and in the TTC Forex University. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at my results in 2023 on crypto. In order to do that, I have to show you a statement because Coinbase, where I trade, has no way of looking at your year-to-date return like this one does. By the way, YTD right here, this means year-to-date, which means it started at the very beginning of 2023, and this is up to today's date. But Coinbase doesn't have anything like this. So what I had to do is download a statement that showed my balance at the beginning of 2023. I've not deposited anything into this Coinbase account, and then I'll show you the balance it's at right now, and we'll do some math and come up with the percentage gain, the ROI that I've had so far this year. So here is that statement, and as you can see, the date of this balance right here is 1-1 of 2023, I'll zoom into that, it might be hard to see. And you can see the balance is $121,843 USD. Now, let's go over to Coinbase. Here on Coinbase, you can see that portfolio value is $188,320. And just to avoid you having to do math, that means throughout 2023, I've been able to accumulate somewhere around 54% in crypto. That was my results so far in 2023, around 70% in Forex, around 35% in stocks, and around 50%, 54% in crypto so far in 2023. And now to the more important part, which is how did I go from a construction worker roofing houses, barely able to pay his bills to a professional trader that found a way to consistently make money in the markets. And the first thing I want you to understand before we even move on to this exact list of the things I did to become a professional trader, the strategies I use, the techniques that I use and teach here on YouTube would mean absolutely nothing and would not make me a profitable trader unless I had already completed the list of things that I'm about to tell you. So be sure that even if I show a strategy, you backtest it, you see that it's profitable, but you haven't completed some of the things on the list I'm about to share, then you're probably not gonna be profitable 
even if it is a profitable strategy. Keep that in mind as we move forward. Let's go ahead and take a look at the list of things that made me a professional trader. So here's a bit of context into how I created this list that I call the Pro Trader Checklist. When I first started trading, I deposited money into a trading account and just assumed that I would be able to be profitable after doing so. Let me give you an analogy that I think will make that make more sense as to why that's not the case. If you wanted to be a doctor, would you walk into a hospital and start trying to reattach someone's ligament? You probably wouldn't, right? And I know that seems like a far-fetched example, but essentially that's what we're doing if we just deposit money into an account and try to start trading without ever learning how to trade. And you may be thinking, oh, but Steven, I've got a guy that sends me signals on text message. Well, let's use that same analogy. You walk into a hospital, you start attaching someone's ligament that they had torn, and then all of a sudden they go, hey, I think you're doing that wrong. And you say, it's fine. I'm getting text messages from a doctor who knows how to do it. I think I'll be okay. So what I'm really trying to say is it makes zero sense for any trader to start trading with live money until they have learned how to trade. And the most efficient way to learn how to trade is to learn a skill that you then build on top of with another skill. You then build on top of that skill with another skill. And eventually you have these skills stacked up to the point that you can successfully trade for profit for a long period of time. This is exactly how any curriculum in the world works. This is exactly what you would go through if you ever wanted to learn how to be a lawyer, a doctor, or any other profession in the world. And becoming a trader is no different. So after losing money, for over a year and a half with my fly by night, let me just throw money at the market and see if I can make anything out of it. A year and a half of losing money doing that, I decided to create a curriculum that would build on top of each other, an organized and efficient way to create a successful trading career. And that's when the Pro Trader Checklist was actually born. So now let me walk you through the entire Pro Trader Checklist and explain how it can help you become a profitable trader as efficient and as quickly as possible. Let's get started with number one on the pro trader checklist. And I know this one seems obvious, but I have had a ton of emails and a ton of questions from traders asking me, Hey Steven, I never really could figure out how to place a stop loss. If they're trading with live money without understanding how to place a stop loss, do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's a recipe for success or a recipe for disaster? That would be disaster. And what, category would that fall under? Number one is going to be the master, the basics. If you don't know how to place a stop loss in the trading platform you're using, then you haven't mastered the basics. If you don't understand leverage and margin in whatever it is that you're trading, whether that be stocks, Forex, or crypto, then you haven't mastered the basics yet. And this is going to be the foundational part of this pyramid that equals you becoming a successful trader. We need a solid foundation. So mastering the basics of whatever market you decide to trade is absolutely necessary and must happen well before you start trading with live money. Since I primarily trade in Forex, let's go through a couple of examples of what mastering the basics would look like. You would want to make sure that you understand what a pip is. You would want to make sure you understand how to place a stop loss, how to place a target. You want to understand position sizing so you know how much you're risking on each trade based on how large your position size is. You need to understand leverage and margin. That is just a list of few of the things that would fall under the category of understanding and mastering the basics of Forex. Now, I know a lot of you listening, comment if this is you, and don't worry, I did it as well, are trading live right now and something I just listed is something you don't understand. Whether that be leverage and margin, how to place a stop loss in the brokerage account you're using, whether it be understanding what a currency pair really is, there's something you're missing. And I know there's a lot of you that are trading live right now. And I want you to understand that if you haven't created that solid foundation, it's very unlikely that you ever become profitable. And I'm not trying to be mean. Call it tough love if you want to. If you don't master the basics of the market you're trading in, I will go on record right now and say I can guarantee you'll never be successful until you do. So back it up if that's where you're at and master the basics of whatever market you're trading. Number two is going to be master technical slash fundamental analysis. Now, you don't necessarily need both unless that's something you want to do. And you don't necessarily need technical analysis if you're going to be strictly trading based on fundamental analysis. And you don't necessarily need fundamental analysis if you're just going to be trading on technical analysis. Personally, I just trade based on technical analysis. Yes, I look at news events from time to time, but I don't let them normally affect my trading decisions. So mastering technical analysis would look like this. 
You'd want to know and understand things like trends, things like how to spot swing highs and lows, things like how to spot major levels of structure, understanding chart patterns and candlestick patterns would fall under this category. Understanding just how to read the general direction of a market and how to trade accordingly based on technical factors would all fall under the category of mastering technical analysis. Now you can go really deep down this rabbit hole. There's a ton of indicators. There's a ton of things about technical analysis. And if you want to master all of them, go for it but you need to master enough technical factors or at least understand enough technical factors to implement the third thing on this list, which is to create slash master a strategy or strategies. Now, right here, can you see how we're, we're building on top of each other? Like we're building on top of number one with number two, after understanding the basics and understanding technical analysis. Now you have the tools to create a strategy or set of strategies that you're going to actually trade with. Now, doing this, they need to be rules-based enough for you to be able to follow and stay consistent to. They also need to provide you with a profitable edge over the market over a long period of time. Strategies don't win 100% of the time, but if you can find something that wins over 50% with more than a one-to-one -one reward to risk ratio, then you're gonna be doing pretty well in terms of having a strategy or multiple strategies that you use to trade with. So, number three is gonna be master strategies. Now. Now that we're here on number three, I do want to let you know that we have a completely free course that is listed in the description. It's also going to be on the bottom of the video right now. You could go to that. That course will teach you how to master the basics. It'll teach you how to master technical analysis. And we go through a couple of strategies that I've tested and found to be profitable in that completely free course as well. So go to the link you see on the screen or the link in the description to find that free course. Next up after mastering strategy slash multiple strategies, you want to move on to back testing those strategies. As I said, the strategy or strategies that you are using need to have a predictable, verifiable edge in the market, which means you need to have tested those strategies throughout historic data and seen them to be profitable in the past. That gives them the best likelihood of being profitable in the future. And not only does it do that, back testing shows us if our strategy is profitable, but also it helps us to start spotting it easier because the more your brain sees something, the more you train your reticular activating system to see a specific strategy, a specific set of conditions, an entry. When you train your brain to see that, that's gonna make your real-time trading go a lot smoother and a lot faster. And on top of that, backtesting can help improve your confidence and therefore improve your trading mindset and improve your trading psychology through the process of backtesting, you're going to see your strategy go in and out of drawdowns, and you're going to see that it comes out on top over a long span of time, which is going to help you stay in a good place in terms of your trading mindset while you're going through drawdowns in real time and in real trading. After number four, which is backtesting the trading strategy or strategies that you have learned or that you have created yourself, we move on to optimizing those strategies. Optimizing can lead, there, there's infinite things you could optimize for. Some of the things that I choose to optimize for is what pairs did those strategies work best on? What time of day did they work best? Or what time of day can I actually trade them based on my other obligations? What is the biggest reward to risk ratio I can get without going under around a 50% win rate? And you can choose to have less than a 50% win rate with a higher reward to risk ratio. These are just the qualifications and optimization things that I personally look for. Another form of optimizing would be what if I add other conditions to the strategy, use a different entry reason. Throughout the process of optimizing, you are just taking the general rules of your strategy and seeing what you can do to make it literally perform the best way it possibly can. And we do that through the process of optimizing. At a bare minimum, you wanna optimize for the pairs that the strategy or strategies trade best on and you want to optimize for the reward to risk ratio you can get that gives you the best ROI throughout your testing period. And you want to optimize for the time of day you can actually trade if you have a full time job or other obligations. That is a bare minimum in terms of optimizing. After the optimizing process on our checklist, number six is going to be to create a risk management plan. Notice all the way up to this point, have you placed a live trade at all? No. So have you completed the things on this list yet? You probably haven't, and if you're trading live without having completed the things on this list, then that's going to be one of the main contributors to you not being profitable yet. And I promise you, if you go back and you complete the things on this list in order, 
it's going to dramatically improve your trading results. So creating a risk management plan. There is no cookie cutter risk management plan. I can't tell you, hey, go out there and risk 2% of your account and you'll be fine because everyone's different. You are going to have a much different risk tolerance than I do. Someone else may have a way different risk tolerance than the both of us, right? So what you're going to have to do when creating this risk management plan is take a look at your optimized backtesting results, see what your maximum drawdown was throughout those results, check out the general drawdown that you see, not just the maximum drawdown, and ask yourself what is an amount that you would be comfortable losing throughout a drawdown. Let's say that you had a 10% drawdown when you were risking 2% per trade on every trade you placed, and you were not comfortable with 10%, you wanted the number to be closer to five. Well, then you would just need to reduce your risk per trade to 1% instead of 2%. It's that easy to come up with a risk management plan. And again, you guessed it, throughout the free course that's listed in the description, and the link is on the video right now, throughout that free course, we also teach a lot about risk management and I go into more detail on it, more detail than I'm going to in this video. This is just the general list that I used in order to become profitable. But again, that free course will walk you through all of these in a more detailed way. Next up, we have master your trading mindset and trading psychology. This is going to be just as important as every other aspect of your trading, but it's something that traders tend to look at and try to focus on the least, which I completely understand because trading psychology is definitely the most difficult thing to master in trade. You have to make yourself comfortable with losing some of your hard earned money for the belief that you will make it back and then some in the future while you're going through a drawdown. That's difficult. But some of the ways that you can help yourself, that you can help your trading mindset and help become less emotional throughout those drawdowns is by increasing your belief and the way that we do that is through the back testing process and demo trading. We also do that through lowering our risk management so we can decrease the fear we have about blowing our account or about losing money because we're losing less money each time. So some of the things on this list will already help you with your trading psychology, but that is definitely something you have to master. That's number seven. Number eight is going to be experience. So outside of just back testing, Another way to increase the belief you have in your system or strategy or strategies being profitable over time is to see them actually working in real time while you're actually trading them. The way we do that, you can do it through demo trading or through trading with a small account, which is actually number nine. So after you've demo traded for a while, increase that belief and you have some experience, that's when you wanna start with a small account. You don't wanna start with the exact amount you were gonna start with from the beginning. You don't wanna start with like your life savings. You wanna start with a very small portion of what you initially planned to start with and just trade for a month with that. That experience, watching your trades lose and win, but throughout the month or so you do this, you come out profitable, that will improve your belief, improve your trading psychology and help you stay emotionless through the experience of drawdowns that happen when your real trading occurs. When you are live trading with real money, you will have drawdowns. All the things from about master the strategy down are just to help you deal with that. That's how important trading psychology is. And after you've live traded with a small account, you're now ready to actually live trade as a real professional trader, someone that can be profitable over time. So there was my results for my trading in 2023 in Forex stocks and in crypto, along with the exact list of things I did in order to go from someone roofing houses, barely able to pay his own bills to a professional and profitable trader that makes money over time. That list is beside me if you want to take a screenshot of it. And also don't forget, there's a free pro trader checklist course that goes through each and every one of these in a way more detailed way through videos. And you can get to that by going to the link you see on the screen. That'll also be listed in the description labeled free course. If you're ready for some more advanced training, we also have some space available in the TTC Forex University. That'll be the top link in the description. And in that course, not only will I walk you through every bit of the pro trader checklist, share my exact trading strategies with you, but also 
You'll get access to me personally through email, through what I call priority coaching support. So if you have any questions at all, it'll be me personally helping you to understand whatever it is you have doubts about and help you speed up your journey to profitable trading. You also will receive two to five email analysis trades per week that are trades that I'm taking based on the strategies you're learning inside the course. You get the Pro Trader Report every Monday, which shows you all the zones I'm looking to trade in. And the TTC Forex University has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and click the top link in the description or go to www.ttcfxuniversity.com. That'll be on the screen now. If you don't want to do that, no worries at all. Be sure you click that like button if you made it to the end. Leave me a comment and also go ahead and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video. Talk soon.